Well, hello and welcome back to Doggone RV and Travels with My Girls. I just wanted this to be a little catch-up video for y'all. I'm pleased to see that my uh, channel continues to add subscribers, even during this downtime when I'm recovering from my fourth operation, uh, the third one out of four, to correct the uh, mess ups from my earlier radical cancer operation and the ensuing seven weeks of over radiation therapy. So I went in to my follow up uh, checkup for this last operation. Doctor says things are looking good. So I go back in a, uh, another two or four weeks for my final checkup. And hopefully then we'll know if the operation was a success. If not, well, there are one or two other operations they can perform on me to help repair the damage that the extensive seven weeks of radiation has done to my body. And that involves uh, destruction of bodily tissues, uh, muscles, organs, you know, they, they really did a number on me. They took out all the cancer, thank God, but they uh, left a path of destruction afterwards, which uh, I guess it's a 50-50 thing, you know. The cancer is gone. Uh, I've been tested several times and it's not there. So I'm just hoping all the damage that radiation did to me doesn't end up being worse than what the cancer would have been. Anyway, I'm out here this uh, afternoon in my little 19-foot compact camper van uh, camper and uh, kind of getting it ready. Got my fingers crossed that come the New Year's after the uh, inauguration that this world will not slip into a uh, Soviet style nation lockdown out of fear and panic and I can get out of here and uh, travel so I'm doing everything with uh, hope in mind you know like I said if you don't have hope you don't have nothing and you can't let any political party take that hope away from you and substitute fear in place of it. For one thing, it makes you an idiot and it makes them, well, it makes them in control over you. Anyway, um, I am working on scripts still. I want to get some videos made uh, of very informative topics that I would like to share with you. Now, you know, some of these topics I've gleaned over YouTube for years and seen probably hundreds of videos on these topics and everyone comes at it from a different point of view you know either you're in a, a fifth wheeler or you're in a class A or a class C or a B plus or a built-out camper van well that's fine those are all bigger and more spacious than what I'm living in and that's because I bought this for my personal needs and what I realized I would actually use for the long term. That's why you see all these nomads switching vehicles all the time, you know. I'd rather just buy the right one the first time and I'm done with it. I save all that money from switching out vehicles and I can put that into making the one I bought better which is exactly what I did. So, anyway, I'm excited. My girls are excited. Uh, all I have to do is say the word RV, and their ears go up, and man, they are ready to go. So, I just have to clean everything out, repack everything, reorganize things, check my checklist, because like I said, 
on every trip we go on I have a checklist and I write down what I actually did what I actually used and that's pots pans clothing um, utensils and the things I brought I didn't need and that helps me minimize things to the point where I don't bring a whole lot of crap I bring just what I need what I know I'll use from my previous habits of travel like when I started this I had this great dream that man getting an RV and traveling it's gonna change my life I watched all the ads all the other stuff and you gotta realize that that's all meant to sell you you know you gotta get real with yourself and think well wait a minute you know what am I doing right now at home what do I enjoy doing? Do I enjoy riding bikes in the park? Do I enjoy doing this, doing that? If you enjoy those things, yeah, you'll probably do them on your RV trips. So, yeah, it's a good idea to maybe take a bike. But if you don't ride the bike down the bike paths around you, even if it's a mile away from you, don't think you're going to do it when you go on a trip in your RV. You know, your life's not going to all of a sudden flip over and be something, you know, out of a movie. So the first thing... You got to get real. You got to really dig deep and say, well, what do I do at home? What are my habits at home? Because they really aren't going to change that much. And that's why people bring everything but the kitchen sink with them. I did that too. And I found out real quick that I didn't have any room for what I found I actually needed. And when I got rid of all the crap I thought I'd need that I'd never used, because I didn't use it at home. I had so much room, it was amazing. So, just things to learn, and those lessons will be in my videos to come. So, uh, like I said again, I'm writing scripts, coming up with format for uh, quite a few new videos prior to the ones I make as we travel across the country. So, I'll be sprinkling those in and uh, hopefully they'll you know collect some new viewers uh, so they'll enjoy the knowledge I can share with them from a lifetime of travel exploration a lifetime of raising and training dogs and traveling with dogs um, and I've learned to get by on very little you don't need that much to be happy folks it's all advertisement. You go broke. You don't need everything. You know? So, I think if you follow us and hang in there, I'm, I'm sure like many other YouTubers, not every video is going to be a, a, an A+. Plus. But, you know, I'm sure... If you watch them all, you can't help but learn something good from each one. Because that's my purpose, is to share common sense and knowledge that I've learned over a lifetime of traveling, hiking, and raising and training dogs. So, I think if you hang in there, you're going to find out you have a lot to learn. Yeah, we might go to the same places that some of these other younger nomads have gone to, but they don't have the background knowledge, maybe I do, that can enrich my videos much more than theirs. But it's all how you look at it. So, anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I have some things to do back here. Uh, some new ideas on how to store stuff up here with drop down velcro strips so I can just velcro stuff and wind them up there and uh, cupboards ideas on how to organize the cupboards put in the shelving uh, I don't like those bags where you put your clothes in the bags because then you gotta take all the darn bags out anyway I'm looking for something compartmentalize easy I reach up there grab it boom I got it put it back in no sweat so simplicity and functionality are the key words to how I organize things 
and it was exactly the same when I was the logistics officer on my fast attack nuclear sub in the 80s. I had to find places in that submarine to build secure storage boxes to store everything from microchips to our weapon system to plumbing for our nuclear reactor. And I tell you, if you can do that in a submarine, you can sure as heck do it in any kind of thing. So hang in there, folks. Watch our videos when they start coming back after the first of the year. And uh, it'll be hard not to learn something good from each one. Okay? So I'm going to cut it off here. I never know how long I talk on these darn things because I keep forgetting that stupid little clock to put down below the, the camera. But again, uh, I wish everyone well this election season. Hopefully uh, the nation will not lose its collective mind and we'll end up with a month or so of insane rioting for no reason at all. And uh, hopefully people will just accept the outcome and let it be. We have more important things to do than act like a bunch of frightened children in some B-rated horror flick. So, take care, watch out for yourself, and God bless. Bye-bye.